It says drugs are to blame for the violent protest in Charlotte. Do you agree with that? Uh, I think it's presumptuous for uh, him to make a conclusion like that without having thorough uh, conversations with some of the folks who are here on the ground and, and really aware uh, of what is going on and what the reasoning is. Several of our council members were out in the crowd last night talking to people. Um, I've been listening to folks. I've gotten lots of phone calls. I've talked to a lot of folks on the street. We have a much better understanding than Mr. Trump. Okay. And what is fueling these protests in your mind? Well, I think there are a couple of things. I think that um, even though we have a strong history of community policing and people know um, we have community officers that are known in their neighborhoods that have great rapport with citizens, uh, even in spite of that there is distrust uh, with the disparity of how African Americans um, are handled in police incidents versus how um, whites are handled. I think there is a concern about that. Um, there's also uh, a concern when you look at what's happening nationally and having this occur in other cities as well. Um, but even deeper than that, you know, we have a history of racial disparity and we are working very hard in our city to bridge that gap uh, to make sure whether we're looking at education or economic opportunity, social justice, uh, all those things. We're working very hard to make sure opportunity is spread equally and, around and, our city. And just, just one.